YouTube, what's up? The Hillist of Ballers is back with another video. It's time to talk WWE Night of Champions live from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. And let's talk about the Intercontinental Championship, Gunther against Mustafa Ali. I think I get this out of the way because, you know, well, why not? Mustafa Ali won a freaking battle royal. I remember contender last week, and he's going to face Gunther for the Intercontinental Champion. Of course, Gunther is now the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion of the modern era kind of stuff. He's going to surpass Honky Dot Man's record. I, for some reason, predicted that when he freaking won the title. I don't know how I did that, but, you know, apparently it might happen. It might come true. So there you go. Mustafa Ali has been doing nothing, pretty much. He's just been doing nothing. Just been backstage and being some cool dude and just about it. And, uh, yeah, but I do like Ali. I think Ali's an amazing talent. I think he's great. But you are not going to get past the Intercontinental Champion known as Gunther, known as Walter, whatever you want to call him. You're not getting past the champion. You're going to get destroyed. I would be very surprised. Very, very, very surprised. And my job would legit drop if this man were to go out there and beat the Intercontinental Champion. Like, I would be, like, floored if that were to happen. Um, Gunther's going to go in there, beat him, and his next feud looks to be with uh, Matthew Riddell, bro. So... That's why I think it's happen. So, Ali, I like you and all. You're great. You're amazing. But you're not winning this match. Gunther's going to retain the Intercontinental Championship. For the SmackDown Women's Championship, even though she's on Raw, we have Rhea Ripley against Natalya. Because why not? Um, why not? Because I don't think they can find anybody else. And plus, Natalya, she is, you know, she's a veteran, stuff like that. And plus, they usually have her go over there for these shows, you know. for you know, So, that's pretty much understandable. Um... We don't know why. I mean, I, I slightly don't kind of know, kind of know why this is happening. And Rhea's going to go in there and just uh, destroy Natalia, and then we'll see what we have. We've got next for the SmackDown Women's Champion, even though she's on Raw. I don't know. I don't know. They're they're not even calling them the freaking those titles anymore for some reason. I guess they're bringing in new belts, which would be great. Get rid of those titles, please, or rename them or do something. Just I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's precise. I've just noticed that, you know, Bianca, we'll talk about Bianca in a little bit. You know, she still has her belt, and Rhea still has her belt. It's just so weird. So, makes me wonder what happened to WrestleMania. I mean, why didn't you use that match at WrestleMania? Anyway, I don't know, freaking out. Anyways, Natalia, I like you. I respect you, that kind of stuff. Met you twice. She's great. Uh, Rhea is going to continue this dominant reign. I wouldn't be surprised if Rhea holds the belt out of 2023, honestly. I think she could do a great job with it, and uh, she deserves a pretty long run as champion. Rhea was going to go in there and destroy Natalya, and that'll be it. And uh, the JD is going to be uh, all set. That's pretty much the only Judgment Day match we have at that show. Next match, Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus. Oh my gosh. This rivalry has been very entertaining, to say the least. Trish, as a heel, is believable at, so at times, but somewhat not believable. I mean, she's trying her best, but you just, you really can't. It's like when they turned Edge heel last year, which I love personally. You really can't boo these type of people. Like, they're at the, the stage, like, where they're basically legends. I mean, I know that you can boo legends about that, but, like, you're kind of at the stage where the audience kind of doesn't want to boo you. I don't think the audience wants to boo Trish, but, like, they're make, they're pretty much kind of forcing, forcing quote-unquote, the audience to boo her because she's in there with, of course, my girl, Big Time Bex. So, yeah, um, the robber's been very um, funny, entertaining-ish at times, Um Basically, Trish Stratus took out Becky Lynch. We all know how that happened. Took out her. And then her and Lita lost the tag team tiles. And we haven't seen Lita since then. Trish Stratus basically saying, like, she created the women's division. She started the women's evolution, which is very true. I love Becky Lynch and all. But basically, Trish Stratus and many other people like Lita and uh, all those people from back in the day. Started. Of course, and then Becky Lynch was attacked. And she was taken out for about four weeks. And then Becky returned. And basically, Becky last night got on the mic. Reminded Trish of her past. And reminded Trish of things. It happened, and then she told Trish that she's going to walk her like a goddamn dog, and then she's going to basically beat her like a bitch. And then she says, woof, woof, bitch. Woo! That girl is something. And she looked very interesting last night. She had hands for eyes, which is freaking weird. She's wearing high heel boots. Surprised she didn't break her ankles in those things. This is going to be a very fun match. Um, I don't think it's over. Honestly, I think you're wondering, is Hill Balor going to pick Becky Lynch? No. Nah, 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 nah. It needs to be a little bit hard for Big Time Bex this time. I think Becky Lynch needs to lose this match, honestly. If it's going to be a trilogy, say Becky wins, lo loses here. Becky probably wins at Money in the Bank. I don't freaking know. Or maybe if it's not a trilogy, they just do it again at SummerSlam and Becky beats her there. So. And Becky's on everything, so she's going to be fine. 
She's going to be totally fine. Trish Stratus got the win, in my opinion. I got Trish Stratus winning and being back. The Raw Women's Championship, Bianca Belair versus Asuka. Rematch from WrestleMania. Asuka, for some reason, is heel, even though I thought she was heel going into WrestleMania. <laughs> Bianca, she beat Io Shirai at Backlash in a fun encounter. Fun encounter. The crowd was booing the living daylights, however. And uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what's going to happen here, honestly. Um, I could see Bianca winning. I'm going to go with Bianca Belair this time. I really can't bet against Bianca. It's like Roman Reigns, even though he's not defending his belt. You can't really bet against Bianca Belair. So I'm going to go with Bianca to retain the Women's Championship. I hope Oscar wins, honestly. Why would you ever lose two times in a row? Well, not two times in a row, but, you know, second time to Oscar. I don't know. Not even second time. In this new character, obviously. I don't forget what's going to happen. So I'm going to go with Bianca Belair to win and retain her belt, and we'll see what happens. Let's talk about Cody Rhodes and, uh, Cody Rhodes and um, Brock Lesnar. Cody Rhodes, of course, beat Brock Lesnar. And then last night, Cody Rhodes got the living freaking heck beaten out of him again. And his arm broke. And then Triple H gave him a little pep talk. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. Cody's going to win. If you, Cody needs to lose this match because he needs to go through adversity and stuff like that. But more adversity, actually. Uh, but I think Cody's going to win this match. Yeah, Cody Rhodes is going to go in there and beat Brock Lesnar with one arm. And then we're going to offer, we're offering money in the bank and see what happens next. And I wouldn't be surprised if Brock beats Cody in a squash, mind you. I got Cody Rhodes winning this match. I, I want Brock to win just to, just to be, make it even, I guess. But I don't think it's going to happen. I got Cody Rhodes winning with one arm. For the World Heavyweight Championship, Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. For the inaugural World Heavyweight Championship, allegedly. Actually, apparently this title has the same lineage as the old World Heavyweight Championship. So they brought it back. Apparently. Good. Keep the lineage. Great. If you want prestige... You want some, you know, we're going to get the fans they want. Get Seth Rollins. If you want more prestige than ever, get AJ Styles. AJ Styles has done a title run, world title run since two, has had the world title run since 2018 when he was WWE champion. He dropped to Daniel Bryan. But with this match, honestly, um, it could go either way. It really could. It really could go either way. I think they'll surprise us. And I think I'm going to be wrong here. But I'm going to go the odd man out. I'm going to say AJ Styles becomes the world heavyweight champion. I don't know why. But my mind is telling me they're going to swerve us. I don't think they are. I don't think they are. But I wouldn't be surprised Seth Rollins, which I would not mind either. I like Seth. So either way, it's cool with me. I'm just, I want to be the odd man now. AJ Styles. AJ Styles become the world heavyweight champion. I'm going with AJ Styles become the world heavyweight champion. Just to throw a loop in there. Be like, hey, let's swear everybody. Let's let's have some fun. I don't think it's going to happen, but I think I'm going to go with AJ Styles. I'm going to pick AJ Styles become the world heavyweight champion. And then the main event, I guess the main event. Personally, I would have the world heavyweight championship main event. That's just me. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus the bloodline. Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. Roman four belts. I'm kidding. Roman's not winning this match. Don't worry. The Usos are going to show up. The Usos are going to super kick Roman Reigns to do something stupid. And basically, they're going to get Roman Reigns' bad side even more. I don't think this match is going to end with Roman holding four belts. It doesn't need to. Period. I think it's going to lead to a tad match of Money in the Bank, which is apparently is rumored. And we're going to have Co Roman go in there, beat the Usos, I guess, or whatever. And uh, Roman and Sola, my bad. Roman and Sola go in there and beat the Usos or whatever, what they got to do. And then he's going to go on to defend the title at SummerSlam. That's the rumored thing right now. So, hey, cool with me. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole storyline. And the bloodline slowly, slowly ripping apart. And I love every second of it. I love every second of it. And I don't think they're waiting until Mania 40. They shouldn't wait till Mania 40, period. So, I think that's what's going to happen. So, we're going to see the Usos interfere in this match, screw over Roman Reigns and Solo by accident, probably, and then it's going to cause more rifts, and then Roman's going to get so mad that he's going to go out there and basically say, you're screwed, and you screwed us over, so I'm going to beat the living heck out of you at Money in the Bank, along with Solo. Or Roman Four Belts isn't happening. There's your predictions for that, and I got Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I've not talked about them, but there you go. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are going to retain the titles. There's Night of Champions. There's your predictions. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video. And like I said, just with the like button down below. Subscribe and let this one. Follow me at Twitter, Heel Balor, Instagram, Heel Balor YT. And I will see you all on the next video, which I'll be talking about in a few days. Too sweet. Peace out. More videos to come.